loves and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Amethyst and I'm a first time mom to a beautiful baby girl named Elena. Here on my channel, I love to share videos that inspire and motivate moms to live a life of happiness and not perfection. If you're not new to my channel, you're probably like, girl, where have you been? And you're probably also noticing that my surroundings look different. So me and Elena were blessed with a new apartment and I was just dealing with a lot of mental health stuff. I was going down the comparison rabbit hole. I was having some creative block and couldn't really figure out what direction I wanted to take my channel, what type of videos I wanted to make next for you guys. So I really just needed to take a step back and I completely was off of all social media, Instagram, Facebook, and obviously YouTube for the whole month of February. But you girl is back and better than ever and I am ready to motivate and inspire you guys with the content that I am going to create and I have some amazing videos coming out. Today's video is really near and dear to my heart because it is something that I have struggled with for pretty much my entire life but especially as I have become a mom and that is perfectionism you guys. So let's just be real. I'm, I hate to be pessimistic and blunt but Perfectionism is a losing, never-ending battle, you guys, because we are never going to be perfect, right? The only person who is perfect is God. And so we're chasing something that we're never going to be able to obtain. And even when we achieve things or we get the success that we want, we still aren't satisfied because we feel like it should have been easier or we procrastinate on things because we feel like it's never going to be as good as we want it to be and that really can take a toll on your mental health perfectionism can make you have low self-esteem low confidence it can give you anxiety depression which i know is what perfectionism personally does to me i become really anxious and depressed because i feel like something is not going to be as good as it should be or as good as i want it to be and so in today's video i am really really excited to just sit down and share with you guys my top five ways that i believe you can personally overcome and defeat perfectionism my first tip for overcoming perfectionism is to recognize it and understand it. So make sure you understand exactly what perfectionism is. That way, when you understand it, you can keep your eye out for triggers of it and you can alter the choices and decisions that you make. So some questions you might want to ask yourself are what brings about my perfectionism? So maybe for you, it is your family. Maybe it's your friends. For a lot of us, myself included, it's social media because I tell you guys all the time that social media is a highlight reel. We show the highs. We don't show the lows. We make our lives look perfect and the grass is normally greener because it's fake right so just make sure that you know like what brings about your perfectionism what triggers your perfectionism and maybe take a break from those things or you know feed those things with a long handled spoon type of situation Another question you might ask yourself is when does your perfectionism most occur? So does it occur when you are starting something new or does it occur when you're about to finish something? Maybe when you're about to complete a task or complete a project or when you're really, really close to accomplishing a goal, you're almost at the finish line is when it most occurs for you. And another question that you might want to ask yourself is what are you really afraid of that is triggering perfectionism? Is it failure, which it is for a lot of us, or is it like a feeling of not feeling good enough or not being good enough? So these are just some of the questions that you can ask yourself so that that way you can keep your eye out because recognition is the very first step in overcoming perfectionism. Tip number two for overcoming perfectionism is to make a list of your achievements or things that you are good at. So you guys know that I'm all about my list and this is so helpful because it just helps you to reaffirm yourself. It reminds you that you were successful in the past so that means you can be successful again if you failed at something you came out of it stronger you came out of it with more knowledge you overcame it in the past so that means you can overcome anything in the future and lastly this is so important since you are not perfect because only person that is perfect is god all of your successes and achievements up until now are the result of an effort that was imperfect a third tip for overcoming perfectionism is to set realistic goals and expectations for yourself. So we're still in the better half of the beginning of 2021, right? We're only in March. So I'm sure a lot of us wrote New Year's resolutions down um, for the new year. And if you think back honestly to your list and you're honest with yourself, how many of those things have you actively worked towards accomplishing? Probably not everything right probably not even half of them it comes with that adrenaline rush of the new year of like new year new me and we just want to accomplish we think we want to accomplish all these things but we don't sit in honesty with ourselves about the work that it's going to take to accomplish these things and we don't set normally a lot of us don't set realistic timelines and realistic goals when we're making our new year's resolutions so that is why this is so important so ask yourself like what is your ultimate goal or what is the ultimate thing that you want to accomplish maybe it is getting a promotion at work maybe it's 
starting a YouTube channel, maybe it's starting a blog, maybe it's writing a book, whatever your ultimate goal is and ask yourself how many hours, and y'all gotta be real with yourself, realistically and honestly, can I dedicate to this goal, to accomplishing this goal? So for me, YouTube obviously is my ultimate goal, but I also work a nine to five job Monday through Friday, and I also am a mother, right? So realistically, I cannot dedicate eight hours every day, Monday to Friday to YouTube, like I do my nine to five job because I have to do things like eat, and feed my daughter I have to sleep I have to get rest I have to socialize I have a family you have to do all these things in order to take care of yourself right so you have to ask yourself this question because again this is one of those things that if you don't set realistic expectations and goals for yourself it's gonna trigger that perfectionism so that's why this tip is really important my fourth tip for overcoming perfectionism is to focus on the process rather than the outcome as perfectionists, we love to measure our self-worth and our success based on our achievements, whether we achieve something or we don't, or how fast we achieve something or how slow we achieve something. So for me personally, I really struggled with this when it came to YouTube. So when I started my YouTube channel, you guys, I was just like feeling myself. I was like, okay, I have a bomb personality. I know that I'm going to make bomb videos. I know that I give great advice. So my channel should just blow up. And when it didn't in like my timetable my desired time frame i was crushed and i started feeling all those negative effects of perfectionism i started feeling depressed i started feeling anxious i started having low self-esteem i started questioning whether i was even good at youtube or youtube was something that i wanted to do i took all the fun out of it because i was giving so much pressure and stress about the result and not getting the desired result that i wanted and so really just start doing things for the enjoyment and the fulfillment and the experience rather than your desired outcome my last tip for overcoming perfectionism is to share your struggles you guys you have to be kind to yourself you have to extend yourself grace and practice a lot of self-compassion when it comes to overcoming perfectionism because it's not something that's going to happen overnight most of us have carried perfectionism with us for a really long time probably since we were little children but by sharing your struggles with perfectionism you can free yourself from that shame and guilt that you feel and when you do that it allows you to be your true flawed authentic self and it allows you to do so unapologetically and when you share it in an open and vulnerable way like I'm doing it allows other people to do the same thing the perfectionist mindset does not create a better you but it does limit your growth as mothers, I know we love our to-do list, so I have a to-do list for you guys. First, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Next, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that I can know to continue to create this type of content for you guys. And last, share this video with another magical mama that you think it might help so that we can grow our mom power family here on YouTube. And before I end today's video, I just want to remind all my mamas out there that you're a boss, you're blessed, and you're beautiful. Be the best you so that you can be the best mom. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.